Good morning. Happy Switch Up Saturday. Happy Labor Day weekend if you're in the U.S. I'm assuming, I think it's only a U.S. holiday. <laughs> Maybe it's also in Canada, but um, I know it's not worldwide. But anyway, for those of you in the U.S., happy long three-day weekend. Um, yeah, so it was a week. We'll just get into not talking about the past week. But it's wrapping up the end of summer. It was certainly a interesting weather week, that's for sure. We had like, um, oh, hi, we're, it's fall. And it was nice in like 70s and beautiful. And now it's like 95. <laughs> Came right back to, to sneak up on you like, no, 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 no. We're not done. With, we're not done with summer yet, Oregon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You thought we were done? Pumpkin spice lattes are out? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're just kidding. That's how things work here. The good thing is, is um, we we get like really, really hot and then it like cools down really, really fast as soon as the sun starts to go down. So it's like a really abrupt kind of weather. So this is, it's not as bad as true, true summer when we get to the end of it. Sometimes we have a, a strange elongated summer where it seems obscenely um, warm and stagnant and, and humid and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it this is like, it's just a couple more weeks. It's almost done. It's, you know, it, it's just a couple of nice days to deal with. I think the, the biggest problem for me is um, we can't walk the dogs, you know, in the hot weather. So it's like having to adjust their schedule to deal with that. So anyhow. Anywho, I digress. We talk about the weather all the time here. So, um, my plan this long Labor Day weekend, because we got a three-day weekend here, um, I'm hoping to clean my room some, because it's, it's some chaos in here. It's chaos. And I'm, I just need to make some sense of it. So, um, after I get done with editing this, getting it up on YouTube, I'm going to spend the weekend making, trying to make some sense of this place. And I may either donate some bags or I don't know. I've never done a vlog sale. I don't think I want to, but I, I don't know. We'll see where I end up. I'm going to figure out, I think a couple bags need to go, a few bags need to go and just figuring out what the best, um, path forward for getting some thinning of the herd um, out the door, but anyhow, so nail check, it, um, was Menti the Cat, which is a very beautiful nail polish. It wore relatively well. I broke a few nails, so I had to trim down several, um, this pinky, these two here, this thumb. I think I'm going to, overall, just this week, I'm going to do a quick, take them all down to a more manageable level so they have a less um, opportunity to break. Um, probably going to pick another neutral shade or something very easy to wear while I don't have to go to the office next week either. It'll be a short week, so I don't need to plan on anything spectacular, but I do have a lot of work to do. Um, cause usually with our four day weeks, it's like you're cramming in five days worth of work in four days. So it's, um, you know, planning for just long days once we go back, but you know, it is what it is. Other than that, um, so cleaning the office this weekend, I did want to go to the state fair, but that may not happen. We'll see if that ends up happening. Maybe I'll vlog that and put it up, you know, during the week. Other than that, I am hoping to start the plan for my upcoming trip to Chicago. And if you don't remember or haven't been around, um, they have a whole bunch of stores we don't have here in Oregon. So um, I want to just kind of start strategizing on what I want to accomplish there. I'm not necessarily going to shop per se there, but my I should stop purchase <laughs> there because there's sales tax and, and the like there. Um, but my intent is to visit stores that we don't have so I can 
try on see gauge items for future purchases so figure out where i'd want to maybe try on different sizes of bags or shoes or jewelry or what have you from various brands that we don't have here that um, i can make note of for future purchases but i also we're going to go to like the real real and um you know just be able to see places that we don't we don't have that here in, in Oregon out here in the middle of, and nowhere is where I, I like to call it even though it seems like a big city it's not Portland's pretty you know <laughs> doesn't have a whole lot we have a Louis Vuitton and we have a Gucci oh and YSL but I don't think we have I mean we have a Chanel inside of the Nordstrom's but um yeah I don't think we have any other high-end Tiffany yeah, that's it. That's it. And that last time I checked, they could have closed down for all I know. So I probably should check that over and make sure. But anywho, but they do ship here. So that's why research for Chicago. Go do all those things, bring it back for future knowledge and decide um, what to do. So we are going to go over and do the use, pick out um, the fragrances, pick out the bag of the week and go forth. Okay, I think we had a relatively successful week. I mean, I relatively, um, I'll get into why relatively. I wore everything, um, but I had to do a backup on a couple items. But anyway, so um, did enjoy using the body spray, um, my Atea Cologne, and the citrus. So this was lovely. Um, this one ended up being a little bit overpowering, so I only did one day and it's it I love it but it's just um it just bridges the gap so depending on the day I may just be a little overly sensitive to the notes and it can verge on almost headache um level but I, I still like it so it's just fine of course love Mickey that's one of my favorite ones I think I'm about half a bottle I have a backup, so I'm not worried about running out of that one. Um, where I was disappointed is this clean, sparkling sugar, and it's a rollerball. I could not get this on to save my life. I mean, I, I think I got it on. I can smell it, but it. I was swiping and swiping and swiping and swiping on my arm for probably a good like three minutes before it seemed like before I saw product so I just don't know it's the mechanism so the scent is fine um but I want to go see about maybe actually spritzing I hope it happens spritz format at like a Sephora or somewhere where I can actually test it because I do like their fragrances it's just I wish there was a different mechanism I I don't know why they did that for that sample but anywho it, it, the fragrance is fine it's just I didn't like the mechanism to apply it so relatively successful let's get another tray okay folks so this is what we're looking at for this week it's an interesting it's it's mostly sweet with a, a really unique one I'll talk about last so of course it's holiday it's Labor Day so I brought out holiday I love this scent year round it's just crisp clean fabulous really love it um I'm, I'm barely about a quarter way through this bottle but I will repurchase this without um any question I just love it to death course had to have a vanilla on there so vanilla vibes for end of summer wanted some sweetness and molly was talking about buying the cherry trio so i wanted to do lost cherry then i was like oh i'll try yum again the pistachio one do that one and then last but not least we're gonna go into the channeling of fall cafe tuberosa from atea cologne this is, this is interesting. When you first open it, it's almost a strange, and this sounds horrible, cough syrup, medicinal kind of like note that hits you, but it's a very interesting scent. There's the box back there. You can kind of see the cover of it. it just It's just really pretty. Um, but it's just... 
it's definitely fall. It's definitely heavy. It's definitely rich. I just love it for this time of year. So I just, I want, I'm hoping there'll be a, a cool day this week that I can pull us out. But what I haven't mentioned in all this time I've been talking to y'all when I pull these out is that Atea Clone would write these really interesting little stories. Hopefully this will focus. And I'll take a snapshot of it in case it doesn't show up in the video properly. But it goes in in French first and then in, in English um, in the second. But it's a little like almost like rendezvous love story behind every bottle. And it's just a really cute, um, descriptive, um, the essence of the, of the bottle. So I just found that really lovely about the brand. I miss it. So I just, they they had so much, so much to offer. And I'm just really sad that they're no longer here in the U S I know you can still get it around the world. So, um, if you can get your hands on some, I take a clone, definitely give them a try there. They literally have a scent for everyone on the spectrum out there. Go to their website, check out their different, um, scent profiles it's just a fabulous, it was one of my very first advent calendars on Vlogmas 2020, I think it was. And I just really like it. And even Stefan has a few of the fragrances um, that he loved as well. So anyhow, that is the tray of the week. As I mentioned, I wore Menchi the Cat, which is just all sorts of fabulousness. I'm going to put it back in its box because this is one of the few that... Um, the box just because it's so unique I keep the the packaging for for these so it goes back in its back row back into its home but we're gonna find something simple something fun something end of summer that just speaks to us and what is going to speak to us I almost want to be like really patriotic but I'll do this blue. It's kind of fun. Metallic chrome. Yeah. I think I'll go with metallic chrome. This is iron violet. It feels fun. Okay, we're going there. Okay, so we had a pretty decent week with the burrow bag. I noticed that she's Got some battle scars uh, as far as the dirt goes. So I got a way to clean her up. Tide pen or whatever that might be. So we've got two sets of sunglasses. I think I'm going to retire a pair because summer is ending. I don't think I need two pairs of sunglasses. All the stuff out of here. I have I feel like I'm missing something. Pouch. AirPods. Where are my coins? And the zipper pocket. There. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put her away and. Yeah, we will figure out what we're gonna wear this week. Okay, confession time. I have never worn this bag. I got this lovely bag um, from a fellow YouTuber <laughs> over a year ago, and it came over a year, about a year, about a year ago. It came, I unboxed it or revealed it, what have you, and then I stuffed it. <laughs> put it up on my shelf and I have not carried it once and I need to carry her. So while it's, I think more of a fall bag, um, it's not quite fall yet. We are on a journey here to use our bags. And I think this bag needs to come out. It's very subtle as far as the dust bag says, but you may recognize and hi Caleb. Um, you can shame me into whatever world, but my black Fendi peekaboo that I got again from Caleb, um, love it. 
in concept. I don't know why I have such a problem with swapping out bags and utilizing them. Why I have so many bags and don't utilize them. So this has been a great journey. I have no intentions whatsoever of getting rid of this bag. So I mean, that just will quash that right there. I will utilize it, but I have to start putting these bags front and center so that I'm like actively utilizing them on a regular basis. This is a beautiful bag. It needs some um, in there to keep it um, up. So as I mentioned, I've just, I've got it stuck to the gills full of stuff to keep it relatively sane. Here is its strap. So that being said, I think it will be fine for this week, but since we're going likely to the fair, it may be a two bag week. This is not fair appropriate. So I may have to swap into this for one day and that will be really simple. Literally it'll be like, throw my phone in here, throw my driver's license and a credit card and the cash and just run out the door real fast in this sucker. Um, so I'm not gonna bother loading this up with anything permanent. I will use this bag and then if we decide to go, we'll grab that one, but I will utilize the other stuff. Let me get all of this stuffing out and then we'll talk about the peekaboo in more, more depth. She holds a lot. That's, that is for sure. So this peekaboo, um, this side suede lining, gold zip pocket, this side, just the suede lining. I will likely with the side without the pocket, we'll put the catch-all, the AirPods, the pen case, all the things I don't use on a regular constant basis, coin, yeah, all of the, all the items, and then also the strap, because this is incredibly short, this is be a shoulder strap, um, it's not as versatile for me, I'm just going to throw it in here, I will likely... I have a long um, strap, I think for the Ricky, that might behoove me better for the week. So I'm going to close up the back side with all of those items. And here in the front, we're going to put the sunglasses, the card case, the one set of keys. Stefan's actually in the car, the other car, so he can. We'll bring those later. Cell phone. I'm actually almost thinking I want like a thin organizer for this bag if I start utilizing it more often because this still needs a little bit of help. In the zipper, I'm going to throw in all this cash for security. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close her back up. And then this was the two-tone hardware. Very beautiful, very, very squishy. Look at her look. <laughs> but she's so cute. Yeah, she definitely needs an organizer in her. Something to give her just a little bit of, of heft. Just because, you know, I think she deserves to have all of her glory. I have stands um, for my peekaboos typically. So if it was out on display, it would be hanging up on a stand. But if I'm carrying, it's really going to sit like that. So <laughs> isn't that sad? <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm home. Oh, but gorgeous. Thank you, Caleb. I sold it for such a deal. I'm just, I, it's fabulous. It's so soft. It's 
it's so buttery. One of the best bags. So beautiful. All right, so we're pairing the Fendi Peekaboo this week. We're gonna love it. Okay, so end of the day. Morning. <laughs> end of the morning. I uh, did a quick layer of the iron violet. I made a little boo-boo. I gotta go clean up that. But um, Steph went and picked up my Target order. I have this fragrance to try out. I'm not gonna do it right now, but um, this is supposed to be a dupe for Lost Cherry, so this will be um, something I try out sometime in the next week or so. But anywho, um, I heard a bunch of good stuff about those um, dupes. So we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, so hope you have a good holiday weekend. If you are celebrating the holiday, if you're not, I hope you just have a good weekend overall update of the, uh, shipping fiasco that I was all upset about last week. So late Saturday night, <laughs> we, I got a text, uh, Patty got a text, at the, like probably the exact same time because we're like messaging each other that um, the the scan did not happen until it reached like just outside of her location. Um, so not one single scan leaving Oregon across the country, getting to her part of the part of the world and country actually, and. Um, that was just really nerve wracking and really frustrating. So I, I'm thankful that it, it did scan, it did arrive. Everything's good, good and gold in it, but good Lord. <laughs> they just could have at least one like courtesy scan scan that it hit, I don't know, Chicago or uh, somewhere along the, you know, along the way, just to put my mind at ease. It was really nerve wracking there for a while, but positive, happy ending. It did arrive. Everything is good. I'm glad I'm not going to freak out, um, but I'm probably going to use priority mail only from now on if I ship USPS and then anything else I'll have to use like UPS ground because this is at least they scan and I can trust that. So anyhow, um, I hope that you have a great week ahead. I may see you sooner than later, depending on how much filming I get done this long weekend. So if I choose to do another vlog, I might put it up before um, my typical midweek thing, but we'll see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold myself to anything because, you know, don't want to add any extra stress to, to things, but I hope you have a good one. I will see you when I see you. Take care.